in this lesson we will see uh, the SharePoint uh, uh, by default the way uh, Power Apps creates the three screens for SharePoint and how we can change the uh, fields how to change the sorting ascending descending and then also see the search if time permits we'll also add fields in SharePoint and see how we can uh, get it into the app so first uh, we'll say uh, create uh, a new uh, from SharePoint we can choose phone layout okay this time SharePoint this site student score as the list and say connect so the it creates three screens one is the search screen or the main screen this is the detail screen and third is the edit where you can make the changes remember that the edit screen has two purpose one is when it is creating the uh, record another one is when it's editing so detail screen only to uh, view the record and this serves two purpose so let's go to the browse screen and we will uh, try to uh, see what we can do how uh, about the layouts now here we have fields the body is called the title is title the subtitle is ID and then the body so let's change the order we'll say title which is the name of the person then we'll we don't need ID instead we'll put the uh, score or date of birth and then the score <laughs> we have one day old kids scoring 85 man this Guinness Book of World Record we got a new record here okay so we have Joseph the date of birth and then the score okay so title the name subtitle is the date of birth and then the score so we'll run this so the three fields you know this is the view screen we click this we can edit it let's at least fix this <laughs> 1995 that sounds a little better it makes me feel better because I'm I, I'm 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 giving a demo you know you can be having okay uh, then uh, uh, we will close this uh, we will now see the search okay so this gallery has this you know a data source uh, we are searching based on title okay let me show you if I type J O then only Joseph will show up and uh, just give me half a second okay uh, so as you can see here uh, so it is searching based on title what we can do and this is the uh, uh, the text box this text search box one is this so we can uh, let's score let's search on uh, the score so we can uh, use uh, search on this which is uh, body one okay the field is body one so let's change this instead of title let's change it to body one so it will search based on the score oh no 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 mistake there is no body one huh the okay one second gallery some mistake here edit title okay that's the field that's the score and that is the title there is no body one okay <laughs> so this is title 
is the name then we can have score so now let's run this uh, we can search students who have scored 85 uh, and then uh, suppose if you want to search by the uh, date of birth we can change this to uh, date of birth and which is the field uh, uh, date of birth so edit date of birth of birth okay Oh, it is um, because this is date field it needs some uh, conversion let's not use this because we have to do some formula around it so we can uh, use uh, the uh, the other field which is uh, instead of date of birth we can use uh, the tight uh, score and title we already finished so let's put back a title here let's not work with date columns now because it's little bit uh, it's easy but it has it, ne it needs some formulas so uh, we have seen how to change this search which is this field now ascending descending is this uh, so when somebody clicks uh, 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 ascending it will show by the order of ascending based on the title if you see here let's remove this now J L M okay so the order is J L M so let's do the other way J L M so it got reversed so based on this uh, field it is sorting so we can uh, do uh, uh, because here we can sort based on the uh, score score the field is score yeah so we can do sorting based on score so 95 90 85 we close this and uh, uh, and ascending this of course so those who have scored less will be at the top now this time those highers will be at the top so it is sorting based on the uh, score so now I have covered uh, so ascending descending search okay so now this we have covered uh, the uh, out of the box uh, the default uh, screens provided by power apps we have also covered the uh, positioning or the layout we can you know we can move things around let's say we want it to be like this and over here and then score also on the same line we can do something like that to save this space okay this is uh, something we can do so it looks like a table format you can do that also then uh, let's cover adding a SharePoint uh, column because we have some time let's add a column a single line of text and let's make it country okay I've added country here okay country now I come here and refresh run there is no country here if I try to uh, come here in the gallery and I say edit what happened to country okay so what we have to do we have to come here to the data and we come here and refresh it very important we refresh it okay then uh, we can uh, add one label okay and this is uh, another one uh, subtitle label one so here we can put 
uh, now see the country has shown after we have uh, done the refresh of this okay uh, also note uh, let's run this let's run this why country is not showing up here uh, i tried to refresh okay so now why why is it not showing right because we don't have anything here so let's edit let's put some country here usa then we put some country here let's say canada my favorite ones you know i've lived there for some time and india uh, then we come back here we run this still not there let's refresh it and it shows up okay. there's one thing missing i did not exit this so it has not yet updated india so i have to come out of it and then i come here i run i refresh india shows up so these are some of the tricks uh, which you have to use so we have covered how to use the default power app screens we have updated uh, the uh, sort and search then we have also seen how to add a new column or field in sharepoint like how we added country and then how to show it up in uh, power apps screen